great. That's why my favorite sport is women's tennis. Because you can see their panties. <laughs> That's brilliant. The first time I ever saw it, I was like, oh my god. Nobody say anything. <laughs> they should do that with every women's sport. Except basketball, because then their balls will hang out. <laughs> I know. There are so many different types of panties. I was with this one girl, she was wearing crotchless panties. And I know I was supposed to be turned on by that, but I was a little weirded out. So I started thinking, how many guys do you have to have sex with before you're like, you know? I can't keep taking these panties on and off. I have things to do. Must get penis in faster. Think, woman, think. <laughs> I would just rather girls wear their regular panties and then, if necessary, just do that little helpful bloop. <laughs> Panty pull aside move. <sighs> I love the panty. Every guy loves the panty <laughs> pull aside move. Because to us, the vagina is an exclusive club that we're never allowed in. And when the girl does the panty pull aside move, it's kind of like the bouncer unhooking the velvet rope. Please, come on in, Mr. Fatal. Thank you very much. I uh, always like girls to keep one article of clothing on their person during this sexual experience, whether it be their bra or their panties or even those little white socks. Oh, yeah. oh, so hot. And I don't even know why, because if a guy leaves his socks on during sex, he looks like a homicidal maniac. <laughs> Cold feet must kill. <laughs> and when a girl leaves her socks on, sexy. Especially if they're just a little dirty on the bottom, like they're a bad girl. Yeah, they didn't do their, they didn't do their laundry. You got, you got to spank them for that. What if company came over? That, that will reflect badly on you. You got nipped that behavior in the bud. Girls are amazing. They start turning you on with stuff you wouldn't even think of. Just when you think there's nothing else they could do, they find something new. Like, who's the first girl to ever shave her vagina? Can we give her a tax break or something? Because we need to, we need to give this woman something for her contribution to society, because that woman's a hero. I mean, because I thought the vagina on its own was perfect. I didn't think there would be anything you could do to make it better. And then one day, girls are like, what if you can see it better? <laughs> You're always thinking, aren't you, you girls with your crazy vaginas? Just when you think you've seen all the wonders the vagina has to offer, boom, better visibility. Wonderful. Some girls don't shave everything. They leave a little bit, which they then form into a shape and or sculpture. <laughs> and although I do appreciate the effort, I'm not going down there for arts and crafts. <laughs> I have much bigger fish to fry. Just shave it all off like a big girl, please. 100%. That's the best. And my last girlfriend's like, that means you're like a pedophile. And I was like, maybe you should find your own ride home from school. Because, yeah, thank you. Thank you for taking my side. That's, oh my god. That's, thank you. That makes me feel very validated. I appreciate that. It's weird now, because the girls do it so much that when they don't do it, that's the shock. 
I brought this one girl home and we got disrobed and all of a sudden it hit me like a ton of bricks. She was 100, 100% <laughs> unshaved. And I was flabbergasted. <laughs> For the first time in my life, I knew what it was like to be in Vietnam. <laughs> She's like, what are you thinking? I'm like, I'm thinking you should get back in your time machine <laughs> and go back to the 30s when you can frolic among others like yourself and wear a bathing cap and smoke a cigarello. <laughs> she goes, if you like it so much, why don't you do it? I have done it. It looks like a cancer patient. <laughs> there is nothing down there we want to bring out in the open. It's Nothing you want to see, believe me. It's disgusting. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love having a penis. Having a penis is kind of like having a friend that always wants to play. <laughs> I do everything with mine. We go skiing together, and my penis is like, look out, tree! Thanks, penis. I'm glad I had you out. <laughs> sometimes your penis is crazy. Like sometimes your penis makes you talk to people you don't want to talk to. Like I was in a bar and I was talking to this girl and I was like, man, I hate this girl. And my penis is like, she's fascinating. <laughs> And I'm like, don't you think she's kind of pretentious? And my penis is like, I don't even know what that word means. <laughs> the only thing that I hate about having a penis is it's so goddamn big. <laughs> I gotta lug it everywhere I go. I would have liked to have flown into California, but now that the airlines charge for extra bags, I can't afford it. I'm like, damn you, extra big penis. Damn you to hell. <laughs> oh, he joking. I have an average size penis. But it's perfect for me, because I'm only 5'5", five five, so on me, it looks gigantic. <laughs> it's like an optical illusion. I take off my pants, because I'm like, holy shit, it's Iron Man. <laughs> and after five minutes, they look like the dog when you fake throw the ball. And then I'm out of there. <laughs> it doesn't matter how big my penis is, though. I am great in bed, ladies. I know how to handle your clitoris. First, you gotta find a little bugger. <laughs> Which is harder than you think, because the clitoris is like the Osama bin Laden of body parts. <laughs> Very elusive and spends most of his time in an underground bunker. <laughs> and then when they do find it, most guys don't even know what to do with it. They just start banging on it. <laughs> Hit her nipples again, Jimmy. See, guys don't realize that girls are not your buddies. They're different than us. They're not like football players. They're very, they're very delicate and gentle. If you press the clitoris just a little too hard, it deactivates for 12 hours. 
Yes, that's a defense mechanism from when vaginas used to run in the wild. That's, <laughs> that's the only way those little guys can make it. And every girl who has sex with me, ladies, is guaranteed to have an orgasm, or dinner is on me. <laughs> girls are amazing creatures. Do you know that girls can actually have two types of orgasm? Two different types, and they still wanted the right to vote. I mean, come on, that's... <laughs> that's, that's a little selfish, it is. I'm gonna... I'm not gonna lie to you. Two types. They could have a vaginal orgasm or a clitoral orgasm. And if you're very smart, as I am, you can tell what type of orgasm they're having by following the telltale signs. Because if a girl is having a vaginal orgasm, then her face gets flushed very red, her breathing gets very rapid, and her abdomen contracts five or six times. That's a fact. And if a girl is having a clitoral orgasm, then her clitoris will actually pop off and sing the national anthem. <laughs> yes. Which is very beautiful and confusing to people in Australia. <laughs> Girls are so beautiful when they have an orgasm. Oh my God. Guys are gross. <laughs> Guys just make like one big ugly grunt. <laughs> When a girl has an orgasm, oh my God, it's beautiful. Girls will never just have an orgasm. There's always like a 15 minute pre-show before. <laughs> We're like moaning and knocking stuff over, <laughs> threatening you. If you stop that, I'll rip your little balls off. <laughs> And then they just get really quiet. And that quiet time is the most important time. <laughs> because that's their concentrating time. <laughs> and it's very important. You don't talk during their concentrating time. <laughs> Especially with a guy line like, you're really wet. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad etiquette. You just keep your mouth shut and get ready to defend yourself. Because <laughs> I don't know why, but when a woman has an orgasm, it's very important to them that they hurt you. <laughs> they start pulling your hair and choking you. This one girl started ramming my head against the headboard. I was like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Tell my mom I love her. <laughs> don't forget to feed Candy Cane. It's so He's so festive! Thank you very much, California!